Hi guys, welcome to tutorial number four, having a look at some last little things on AutoCAD based on your questions. Uh, so we're going to get straight into it today. Uh, the first question we have is about how to use the copy array tool to, um, for example, set out your tiles in the Barcelona Pavilion, or to make a grid, or to copy lots of things along a line. So really useful and simple tool. So right here we've got a box. Uh, which inside we're going to try and fill up with some 500 by 500 tiles. So first thing we want to do is obviously create the box. Then I want my line that is going to become my tiles. So now we bring on the array path tool you can see down here. Click that. So now it's asked us to select the path curve down here in the dialog box you can see. So I want this red line to follow along this inside blue line here. So it's now going to ask me how many items I want along this path. Um, around about 20 items along the path and then after that it's going to ask me the distance between the items. I want it to be about 500. Okay, so I can see that it hasn't quite filled up my box so now I can click on the arrayed lines, jump in here and let's change the number of lines up to 40. Perfect, okay. So now we've got 40 lines in here by 500 and that's the first basis of our tile. So we're happy with that. Click out of there, enter, all good, okay. Now we want to make the horizontal line, so let's make another polyline, put it there. Same thing again, array, on the path, and we want to follow along a path curve. But my first array is in the way at the moment from that path, so I'm just going to send it to the back, right click, draw order, center back. Great. So now I've got this line that I've drawn, and I want to copy it as an array, so we go array, path, enter. This is the curve that it's going to go along. Let's say it goes 20 down this time, and it's going to be by 500. Perfect. Happy days. Fits in there really good. Enter. We're happy with that. Now I can change this again. If I'm not happy with this, say I want it 10 tiles, and this time I want it to be by 750, or I want it to be by 1,000 along that axis, Done. we're happy with that so it is editable once you put it in there and you can play around with what it is um, and that's the copy array tool nice and easy enter to, to clear out of that one happy days so the next question guys is about tree drawing and how we like to draw our tree so again this is really comes down to a personal um, style preference what you like uh, there's a few different ways to do it. I'm just going to show you two ways today, but have a look at some other architects and their drawings and how they like to represent trees. So I've got this site plan of uh, the courtyard outside the architecture building at Curtin, um, but again, it's too bright, so I'm just going to turn the fade down to about 80, just so I can draw over the top of it happily. So two common ways uh, that I learnt in practice were the first one which is using a revision line to create an organic line basically around the edge of the tree so if you come up to draw up here this little cloud looking thing that's your revision line click on that uh, and then basically click once and then trace around the edge of the tree for a pretty organic shape press space when you're finished and that's it space to start again Happy days, go to tree, space to start again, click, follow around the rough guide of the tree, space, start again, and you get the picture. And then after you've done the uh, coverage of the tree, then you can come in and do the trunk so that you get a bit of an indication of where the trunk is there. Uh, here we go again. Back to the revision cloud tool, there's some little trunks, happy days. Okay, 
you get the picture. All right. So the second option we can do is the circle tool. So this one's a little bit cleaner, and this is what was preferred at the office that I was working at. So you pick the center point of the tree where you think the tree trunk is, come out to the edge, and you're done. You can start again. So probably preferred for two reasons. It's really quick and looks clean on drawings, but as Shane's mentioned before, it's not really as organic and doesn't give you a true representation of where the canopy lies. Um, but again, put your trunks in the center, representative of how thick the actual tree trunk is. So it's a good thing to get your tape measure out and ha measure how big a tree trunk is to see these sorts of things. So there you go, there's two sorts of ideas. There's the clean circles, there's a more organic revision cloud, and that's two ways to do it on your trees. But again, have a look at some other architects, how they do it, how they represent it. Sometimes they just get added in in, in Photoshop as well. So really it depends up to you and your personal taste. Alright, the last thing we're going to look at today, guys, is the dashed line. So let's just get rid of these for now so we can have a look at this outside line. So there's a couple of ways to do your dashed line. Um, really, you should get in the habit of having a layer that is set for your dashed lines and a layer that is set for your um, continuous lines. Um, but for now, I'll show you how to change your layer so that it can be a dashed line. So at the moment we're working on layer 25, we can see up here, and my um, line is set by layer. So I can go into my layers panel, and I can go underneath line type, which is next to color, change down to continuous, and I click on that. Oftentimes in your AutoCAD, um, if you're just starting out, you won't have many lines loaded in, so you can just click load, uh, grab in some dashed lines and bring those in. Happy days. Mine's already loaded in, so it doesn't want to do that. Okay. So there's a few different variations you can play with here. So I'm just going to put it on dash hidden. And you can see that it's changed the line type now. It's now a dash line. So everything that I draw in this layer now, if it's on layer 25, is going to be that dash line if it's by layer. So if we come into this layout, we can see that yes, it is by layer. So now that we've come to the layout space, we can see that this dash line and this dash line are doing some different things. So if we click inside the working space and we come over to the properties, we can see that this line type scale is set at 5 and this line type scale is set at 1. So I think the the second one is better. So let's just set them all at a line type scale of one. Now they're all going to be the same, they're all matching. So that's a pretty easy way to check what um, scale your lines are and to do all those sorts of things. So that's about it. Make a layer with your continuous lines and another layer to have for your dash lines. And that's how you put dash lines in AutoCAD. That's it for today, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Again, feel free to forward any questions to the discussion board on Blackboard. Uh, but for now, we're going to get a shuffle on into Photoshop. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for the next tutorial on Photoshop and how to use it. Thanks, guys. Cheers.